Joining me to talk about the news of the day, one of the big headlines of the day, is Republican Congressman Carlos Cabello of Florida. Uh, Congressman, thank you very much for being with us on this program. Um, a couple of minutes ago, I had uh, the Secretary of Kansas on this show, Chris Kobach, who said that dreamers should go back to their home countries and, quote, get in line. I'd like your reaction to that. It's regrettable that some fringe elements in our politics have a sick obsession with scapegoating immigrants for blaming them uh, for all of our economic struggles in this country. If you want a, a culprit for stagnant economic growth, for weak economic growth, look at the tax code, which we're trying to fix. Look at our education system, which isn't fully aligned with the jobs of the 21st century. Obviously, technology is a blessing, but presents challenges. Uh, to uh, people looking for jobs. And something that he said that really stood out is that young Americans are struggling in this country uh, and he blamed uh, immigrants for those struggles. Well, it's young Americans who overwhelmingly support the Dreamers' cause and want to see Congress take action to afford them a permanent solution. Why? Because they understand that these young people went to school with them, grew up in this country. They are Americans and that's why my bill is called the Recognizing America's mm -hmm. Children Act because these young people are Americans and it's up to us to recognize them as such. I want to talk about your bill, but I also want to talk about what you just described as a fringe element in your party. This is, we're talking about somebody who is a top advisor to President Trump and is on immigration who currently runs his election board. Hallie, really look at all the polling. Look at all the polling. An overwhelming majority of Trump voters support allowing these young immigrants to remain in our country. Overwhelming majorities of Republicans and Democrats understand that these young people grew up in our country, that they are de facto Americans. The law has to recognize them. They are already contributing to our country. We know that over time they will pay back in taxes a lot more than any benefits that they have received. So that's another statistic that was sh that is a complete fallacy. Uh, most people in our country understand this. Yes, there are people on the fringes who want to scapegoat these young people who are contributing so much. And by the way, the president understands this. That's why the president has said that he wants to treat these young people with heart, with compassion. I know that the president of the United States does not think that these young people should leave the country. So yes, Hi. those are fringe elements. How do you know that, Congressman? Have you had conversations with the president about what I'm going to call the RAC Act, your bill that you're proposing to protect these dreamers? Have you talked with the White House about this? I've spoken with various administration officials, and here's the bottom line. The president, as soon as he took office, could have rescinded this order. He decided to keep it in place and is only acting now because these states are threatening a lawsuit. General Kelly, the president's chief of staff, when he was the secretary of Homeland Security, specifically went to Congress to ask for a legislative solution uh, for these dreamers. So. Uh, the administration, I think, is actually in an okay place. Obviously, I would prefer keeping this order in place until Congress uh, reaches a solution. The only good news here is that because the administration is canceling the order gradually, Congress is now put on a deadline. And we know, Hallie, as we'll see in this month of September, <laughs> that Congress moves a lot more quickly when deadlines are in place. If and when you're given that six-month window, are you optimistic that Congress, that lawmakers will actually get something done here? You heard Senator Cotton say he's optimistic. Are you? I certainly am. Just in the last few days, I've gotten calls from many Republican colleagues asking about this legislation, the Recognizing America's Children Act. Today, we just got a, a, a new co-sponsor before uh, coming on the air with you. I'll let him make the news. So uh, definitely, you want to give me a little hint? Who is it? It's, Democrat. It's a it's a Republican from the state of New Jersey. So definitely momentum's on our side. Uh, this is not just an issue of compassion. This is common sense, and most Americans agree. And I think most members of Congress want to be on the right side of this issue and on the right side of history. Very quickly, the Post has been the Washington Post has been reporting on this deal that would put protections for Dreamers with funding for a border wall. Is that something that you would support if it came down to that? I'm not enamored with a border wall, Hallie, but. 
I'm one of these members of Congress who think compromise is a good word, not a bad word. I take cues from our framers who uh, designed a constitution based on numerous compromises. So if it comes to a negotiation, I want to be at that table and I want to get to yes. And I hope uh, colleagues okay. who approach this issue from different angles will all come to the table with their ideas and hoping to forge a compromise, knowing that a compromise may force all of us to support certain ideas or concepts that we're not okay. fully comfortable with, but that's the nature of it. And by the way, that's the way Congress is supposed to work. Congressman Carlos Cabello of Florida, thank you very much for being here on this program. We will stay tuned to see what happens with your bill.